What is going on? This is Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Down here with Tim, team owner Jim Rosenbaum, the oldest team in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. How have you been able to do this so long, Jim? Well, it's been hard. We were the, we're the last of the original teams. Started out in Phoenix back in 95 when Craftsman was actually the sponsor. And then it became Camping World. Now Craftsman's back. And uh, after 9-11, we changed from the 51 to 28 to honor all the first responders and the 343 firemen that died that day, plus all the ones that have died since from unknown cancers. And the police department lost people. A lot of people died. There was a th over 1,000 orphans by the fire department that day, you know. They lost their fathers, mothers, whatever. They went to work, they kissed their kids, never saw them again. And what does it mean to you running that 28, running you know, the, the fire department in New York City to you? Well, we help raise money for the Widows and Children's Fund for both the fire department and the police department. We ra originally, we raised a lot of money, but you know, it's 21 years since then. And uh, people forget, unfortunately. But not only do we honor first responders, but all the military people. You know, we had uh, a very good friend of ours who was a combat hero, combat pilot, helicopter pilot, who was a real hero. And he was on the deck lid for the last 10 or 12 years. And uh, we just funded out of our own pocket. And uh, 2018, I was gonna say, that's the end of it after Daytona and Brian Dozer was driving, and Brian wanted to keep driving. So he's got a very successful business, OB Builders. They're in Charlotte, Colorado, Tampa, and we had all the equipment, so let's go racing. So he's helping out, and between the trucks and his two ARCA cars, we're having fun. So how did you meet Brian Doza? Because, like I said, he's a pretty integral part. He's been your driver, I believe, like I said, for the last couple of years for you. Brian actually wanted to build a modified car. And he came to the race shop to get help. And then he was a crewman. And he used to uh, work on a car with us. And then he started driving. Now he's our driver. <laughs> and we're all friends. And we all have... Uh, the same goal is to go racing, have fun, and help honor first responders and our military and our police and our firemen. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to take a little history tour back. An interesting sponsor that I found all the way back in, in you know, 1995 at Flemington. Prohibition does not work. That's right. What is the ordeal and the story behind that sponsor? Okay, they used to have beer commercials, uh, cigarettes, tobacco, and I, guess, I think it was the federal government decided you can't advertise on TV tobacco products. So there went Winston. That was, well, the Winston Cup is no longer. We had... Uh, Skull Tobacco on the, uh, the the old Bandit car with Harry Gant. There was a lot of tobacco and there was liquor sponsors, so they all went away. So prohibition really doesn't work because it doesn't stop people from smoking or drinking. And that's the reason behind that. That yeah. was on your truck in Flemington, correct? Correct. So you've had quite a few drivers that have driven your truck over, and even the car too. What is one driver that stood out to you in your career? Well, I guess the most famous one is David Reagan. He won in uh, cup races. He drove for us. Uh, I can't remember. 96 or 97, something like that. But all the drivers have been good. We had Ryan Ellis. We had Ryan, uh, Brian Doza. Uh, Wayne Edwards. Carl Long. Uh, Carl Long. Uh, Ronnie Hoover, uh, I can't even remember them all. <laughs> you know, 83 years old, I can't remember everything.
Well, you're still kicking around here too, but that leads me into 2023. You're obviously here at Daytona. Usually you enter in some restrictor plate tracks, but your schedule has varied from year to year. What is the plan for this team in 2023? Well, we're gonna run the, definitely run Daytona and Talladega. We'll run Pocono and uh, what other, other tracks, maybe CBS will come give us some money and we'll run for CBS. <laughs> We got the money, I mean, excuse me. We got the equipment, we got the team. It's only the dollars that count. Exactly, and from Jared Haas, frontstretch.com, this is Jim Rosenblum. Thank you very much and subscribe. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.